Hello, today we're taking a look at Spyrix Personal Monitor. This is personal monitoring software, which is ideal for things like parents monitoring children or even employees in a work environment. Uh, however, when it comes to such software, keep in mind that when you are using Spyrix, it is considered a violation of US federal and state law in the US to install such software on uh, devices that you do not have ownership or authorization for. And if you are installing these on those particular situations, whether it's for family or for employees, that you have uh, notified the users in which you are monitoring. It cannot be used without uh, anyone's consent when it comes to monitoring software. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at Spyrix. You can see here in the application, it tracks a lot of different things. You can do things like keyboard input. So that's literally anything that people are typing, right? If it's logging that, um, it can get screenshots of applications. So you can see here, I have screenshots of applications from the um, just running on my computer as of right now. So for example, you can see Chrome. I can see the screenshot right here of a video uh, that I'm watching here. Um, you can also see other screenshots taken during different times. And I have the value set to window change. What that means is anytime a window, I select a different window, um, and it detects that, it'll take a screenshot. You can set up your own settings here, which we'll go over briefly. Um, but you have other things here. You can set up webcam snapshots. You can set up webcam video, uh, sound recording, like I said, clipboard values, all these other things here, depending on your personal preferences. It automatically pulls your local user list so you can see filtered out by user. Um, and then, of course, here you can see the top. You can start tracking or stop tracking as needed. Another thing worth noting when it comes to something like this, which is running in the background and tracking usage of your PC, this is completely safe and secure. You can see Malwarebytes had a you know scan here where nothing was detected. Even though it runs in the background and is tracking what can be considered sensitive information, the app is completely secure and you know easy to set up here. Um, you can actually even walk through the wizard, which will go ahead and walk you step by step through things like online monitoring if you want to be notified via email of certain things. Um, you can go ahead and enter that information. You can enter information for you to uh, run a command to hide it or put it in invisible mode so nobody can unlock the application and change the settings. You can even set a password there. And then you can set up other things like if you want to take screenshots when you know the windows change, if you wanted to um, blacklist certain websites or categories. This is really useful if you have children and you don't want them accessing certain websites, whether it's like adult content or what have you you can go ahead and block this. Another use case might be like schools. You can actually block like torrent sites or certain you know aspects on a uh, specific network. Um, but again, that, that's the big use cases where you have people using maybe machines that you, um, you know, of course, own and have authorization to. That's the ideal situation for software like this. But again, keeping in mind that the user should be notified. Now, going into the settings here, you can see you can go into the uh, event log here and change all the settings for the things that are being tracked. So for example, you can enable logging of keyboard uh, inputs here. Um, you can enable, of course, the screenshots like I mentioned and how that's triggered. Um, things like webcam snapshots, if your computer has a webcam, sound recording, you can trigger those if needed. For example, if a sound level exceeds a certain um, decibel level, so if it's too loud, it'll start recording. Webcam video, clipboard value, and other information such as like social network and IM, it can uh, run those chat logs and make sure those get recorded. Web pages visited, so web history, all of these things can go ahead and be edited here. Additionally, you can go further and even do things like site blocker, like I mentioned, alongside schedulers. Schedulers is really useful because you can actually filter. So for example, on the weekends, if you don't want it tracking, you can turn that off for your kids or what have you. Now, going back to the event log, just to showcase some of these work, you can see here uh, when you enter any key, so you can see here earlier when I was typing in and opening Malwarebytes, you can see it saw me typing in the initial keys. If I go um, anywhere, let's say I open up a notepad here and I just type some letters, I can go ahead and not save that here. So I hit a bunch of keys there and you can see it realized I opened Notepad, it sees the uh, letters I typed and it logged it right away uh, there in the detailed view. So that's how the keyboard uh, tracking works. Like I mentioned earlier, you have the screenshot functionality, um, you have the ability to view anything else. So if I was to go to a web page, if I was to copy and paste something, so the same idea, if I just copy um, a word here, Control C, um, that's going to go ahead and get logged and the clipboard value. So you can see it, it tracked the word here, only talk. And that's how simple it is. It really is 
that easy. You can come back in, you can check the logs. Of course, you can set up settings with online monitoring so you can be notified via things like email, FTP, Google Drive, or even Dropbox. So if you're the admin of, or the person who sets up the software, you can be notified when certain events get triggered. So again, if you're looking to monitor systems online, this is the software to do it. There are some you know precautions you need to take in place when setting this stuff up. But for instances like family and you have kids or you have a you know employee setup where you're monitoring employee usage of work laptops, um, then this is really, really great software to try out. That all said, if you click on the link down below in the video, you can go ahead and download and or buy Spyrix uh, by using our link. And that gets you up to a 50% off discount uh, for a limited time. So be sure to check it out. That is uh, optional for one PC, just starting at $59 or multiple, depending on how much you want to cover, whether it's for the personal monitor or for employee monitoring. You have all sorts of deals available for you here via our link. And as always, your purchases are secured via HTTPS protocol, and you have a 100% money back guarantee if it doesn't work out for you in the end. So that being said, get monitoring today with Spyrix Personal Monitor.